Hello everyone, I'm Renzo Mox, and welcome to the Gali plus the Protector of Water power-up mode, as they call it. Now for this one, I actually needed the instruction manual to build this one, because I actually forgot how to make it, for those of you who just know how to make it. At the last page of, I'm pretty sure, every Toa set, there's one of these pages which shows how to make it. I'm going to go through it anyways, but if you want to pause and make it for yourself, that's okay. Then a couple of other things. You can download the instructions online, but for some of these, you really won't have to. They're pretty simple, but yeah. So, I'm not really sure what the idea is, basically. So, you know, I'm not really sure what I did in the first Pohatu video. I think I talked for like three minutes, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just basically going to say all the stuff that you need. So you're going to need Galley, her golden mask, and of course all of the protector. No skull spiders, no anything special like that, just these. So let's skip ahead and I'm going to show you how to make this thing. So let's get started. First of all, take your Gali, pop off that mask. Put on her golden mask. One second. Let me just get her in a more appropriate pose. Okay. There we go. Next up, take off these little smar smar. Take off these small little trans light blue armor pieces. Toss those aside along with the mask that you should have. fixing stuff up here. Take her trident piece, but keep that there because you'll need it for later. Take off her main trident piece. Take off the ends. Take this piece and put it with the pieces that you don't need. Now, it's time to do this. Get her in this pose. For what you're going to need. Now take up your protector. Take off her gun. Or its gun. Still not confirmed. Come on, Lego. Take off her jet things. And just like this. Now place them on her arms this and like this spin those around she's got her own turbans now now take the little gun I don't think it's a surprise I don't think it's a surprise for what you are going to do now pop that on and now take this piece Stick it in here like this. I'm not even going to question that. But there's one more step. And hold on, let me just take a look at the instructions for a second. Okay. So here's what you, here's what you do. Take this and push the red pin out. Put this in here. Now slide that in the hand here. Oh, that was a fail. Really gotta start doing bloopers. So, that's one side. Take the other one. And yeah, I'm only doing this off camera because... Well, why not? Bam! And bueno. Now we will move on to showing off what is left. So I'm pretty sure that's how you do it, but now I'm going to show you what remains of this set. First of all, you have the protector minus some armor pieces. This actually makes her look, it look a bit skinny. So yeah, I'm surprised they didn't take off a silver armor piece. But we're going to put that anyways. It looked kind of weird. 
anywhere else. What's also left over is Golly's mask. Just move that in range. This piece from Golly's trident, or yeah, and then these two armor pieces. So you could actually probably uh, armor her up or armor it up for all you want. And yeah, you could have the mask so you can switch off the masks. Not a good idea. And you actually have a weapon or a tool that this character could use, kind of like a mini pickaxe of sorts. I don't know. I'm not very creative. But yeah, you have you still have lots of possibilities to mix up those parts. And now that that is over, let's move on to the main deal. The actual set. Now, Golly's new power-up mode looks pretty interesting. No details are added onto her legs, so that's normal. No body. No extra armor, unless you count turbines as being armor, but I doubt that. See, Gally, for some reason, she still holds her weapon in her back, so I guess that's a side weapon, but why wouldn't you just give that to the protector? Oh well. She also comes with the uh, turbine, so you can kind of move those around, make her look like she's blasting up. This is basic, you know, down, stuff like that. Uh, her gun is really enhanced because of the thingy mabobbers on the side here. They really make the gun look a lot bigger. They make it look like some sort of big weapon of sorts. Of course, Gally's mask is the golden one, and I think it looks good on this power-up mode. And let's fire that, because there's just a gear back here. I usually only fire three of those. But, yeah, I'm not really sure what those pins would be for, but oh well, they're there. And um, the only reason why Golly's able to stick that weapon in her back is because of the ball and socket piece. Back, I'm not sure what they call it, but back here it's holding in the trident, which is a good call. I still think this looks like some giant gun that Golly would carry around, which is pretty cool. And get some nice swimming poses and other such... Make her look like she's like a s underwater sniper. I know it's not a sniping gun, but whatever. You can always rearrange these armor pieces up here to kind of work well with the flow. You can raise that gun all the way up if you want. And there's a bit of a swimming pose there where she'd be looking around to hunt down some skull spiders. Now let's move on to the final verdict. So overall, I do think that um, this mode really looks good. It's... You know, I do like Liwa's better than this one. Again, it's kind of like Pohatu's. I don't hate Pohatu's, but it is a not my favorite. Same goes with this one. Liwa, I think, is actually better than this one. Uh, in retrospect to what I said last video, where I actually thought Galley's was better than Liwa's, which I was very tired at the time and very... I just wanted to go to bed, so... Yeah, that's not the case. I, I have been thinking over my decision, and I do like Liwa's a little bit better than Galley's. Gally's is still better than Pohatu's in my eyes. As well as the pieces that they leave you off with the protector. I think it's enough. You can give it armor, there's a mask, and a little... Well, I made it a cane, but it could be a weapon. Gally looks like... Gally's appearance hasn't really changed that much. They didn't make her look a bit wider with the turbines and the big weapon. It definitely makes her seem like some sort of character who'd go underwater and just scout out for skull spiders and just blast them if they were even if they were to even get in the way. Not sure why she still has the weapon. I guess it looks cool. She can pull she can pull it out anytime she can. Just really wish I would have liked to see what these looked like in story, but sadly I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, yeah. Overall I still like this mode and, you know, not my favorite, but I still like it. And that's about it. So, in the next video, we're, com we're going to be out going over Tahu plus the Protector of Fire. So, see you guys then. Goodbye.